This okay. wasn't how things were intended, but when you're in your 20s and you're all bright-eyed and, you know, like, oh, my entire future's in front of me, and then all of a sudden you're in your 30s and you're like, it just happened. It comes up really quick. Okay. It happens okay. really fast, especially when you decide to take out a decade, you know, to yeah. have faith. Is it possible that having faith could still pay off for you? Do you think that? Is that... Because I think I, I get the sense I get the sense in your heart of hearts the addiction that you're trying to feed would probably be best fed with one guy for the rest of your life. What do you think about that? I'll think about it later. You know, you know, there's truth to what I'm saying. Do you think it might be a good idea to have faith that that could be possible for you? What if you I became think it's a, a nun? Complicated world. I is will, is I the could nunnery never option? I think, I think you that. make it more complicated than it needs to be by pursuing casual relationships with all these different men that you don't want anything deep with. I think you're making your world complicated. I agree. Yeah. I think it's complicated. Period. I think I'm doing what I can to survive. I feel like you kind of want it to be complicated. Yeah. That's what I get from it. I think you might be addicted to the emotional roller coasters, perhaps. No, because it's not about emotions; it's about release. Huh? Okay, so why don't you get like <laughs> one guy and just have the same amount of sex? That would, would be that great. Be so well, yeah, that would be great. That's kind of a relationship, <laughs> but you know. Just but it sounds like you you don't even want to attempt to pursue a relationship. I've tried. I know you've said you've tried, and like it just has not gone well for you and you have this outlook on life and men, that there are no good men out there. I never said that. I think there are good men out there. I think that they are very rare. Okay. Yeah, please don't put words in her mouth, Priya. That's I'm pretty sure she did say that, but I apologize yeah, I if that's the not the case. Yeah. Um, but, okay, so you say that there are a few good men out there. Why don't you try and seek them out and pursue them, if yeah, that's the case? I, I did try. I tried for... A very long time. Well, you just gonna quit? Yeah, I you can't, can't quit. Just, you can't quit. Candy, you can't <laughs> quit. Yeah. We Come believe on. in you, Candy. Well, shouldn't maybe you work That's on yourself? Are you, more Candy? Are you a quitter? You else? You're not a quitter. No, I, I'm trying to think. You are not a quitter, I've Candy. I've done a lot. She belongs. Candy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean that's that one. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was an accident. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I did not mean that. It belongs to the street. I think you will find the right one, Candy. I think you will. Timing is a huge thing. You need to work on yourself. Timing is a huge. Timing's a huge thing, but sometimes you can meet the right guy at the wrong time if you have the wrong patterns and Absolutely. habits in your life, mm -hmm. okay? And if you meet the right guy at the wrong time because you quit ahead of time, think about how much that's gonna suck. That's think of the suck, Oops, how much but. that might suck. I'm a, I'm a big believer in you, you, you attract what you are, <laughs> and if you're not behaving like the person that you want to attract and become your life partner, then you're, you're just simply not I gonna agree. find him because you're yes. not looking at you're not gonna places. find him. 100. Not gonna find him, and yes. You, what? Go ahead. No. Go ahead and no, say it. What? You, like, I just feel like it's like kind of playing like victim. Absolutely. And you're kind of just like a oh, woe is me. Like, <sighs> at least I'm I not going to go fix it with a bunch of surgery. Okay. Fair Ooh. Enough. Ooh. Ooh. Cat eyes nice. getting nice. spicy. Let's go. Are you Put on the for, gloves. Like, a white knight or something to sweep you off your feet and take you into the sunset. That I don't think exists anymore. <laughs> So I'm I'm not gonna but, I'm not gonna minimize anything that you might have gone through in your life. I I completely like believe that everyone goes through their hardships, but at the same time you can't let those define you, and you yes. need to you you need to overcome them and must overcome. Yeah, must and, overcome and, and be, behave like the person that you want to attract and end up being in your life. And I, I do think you have to make some changes if you, make want, changes. if you want the positive outcome. You gotta make changes. I wanna, I, changes I, wanna look to at this, I wanna look at this real soberly and logically, okay? A few moments ago, Candy, you said that <laughs> men are attracted to younger women. You said that women who are more fresh, that's an advantage that they have in the sexual dating marketplace. Generally, yeah. Generally speaking, yes. On the trajectory that you're on, there's this, you know, messing around, playing the field, hooking up with different guys, this can only last for so long. True. So long. It can only last, <laughs> it can only last for so long. For so long. I don't know how sorry, long, sorry. Kenny, I, I, I don't know how long it can last, okay? Like, you're probably not gonna be able to do this as successfully as you are now, 15, 20 years from now. This is an intervention podcast. One year. I would say. Maybe two. What'd you say? I said one year, maybe two. What, you, you think you have one year, maybe two left in you yeah. of doing this? Yeah. Okay, that's not a long time, but oh. if you found the right guy and you married him, 
got got married. You, you could get that. You could get that supply that you're craving for the rest of your life, whole life. But you're not gonna find that guy if you're playing these games that you're doing now. No games. How Can I games? ask a question real quick? How is someone who gets surgery at, uh, to get through hardships any worse than uh -oh. going around sleeping with people? <laughs> <laughs> got her. I think that's a big difference. How? Like to pay somebody money to actually change your physical being when you could. I don't know, just go work out. We were talking about out. fixing your behaviors, not your physical yeah. appearance. Yeah, and also I didn't mean like anything rude or mean about what I was Let's saying. Let's be friends. We yeah, I was just here. saying that I think the behavior is obviously negative and like I also want to say to you, I, I'm not attacking you. I don't, I can't speak for anybody. I'm not attacking you. No. I, I just see a woman who has a, a deep longing in her yeah. heart for love and also for dick. <laughs> but like I, I see, I see, I see, I, I see a woman who has a longing for companionship, who has been hurt by the mm -hmm. world, and who has been hurt by her life circumstances, and who has kind of given up on true love. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it breaks my heart to see. But I also know, like that thing that you're looking for, you're saying that it's so rare to find good guys out there. That guy that you're looking for, he's not going to want this version of candy that's engaging yeah. in this behavior. Mm -hmm. He's going to want a version of you that wants that true love with him. You know, and I, I don't, I don't want to see you. I mean, you said you've got two years before this game is up. I don't want to see you go the rest of your life single. You know, you clearly have a longing for companionship. You know, yeah. does that make sense? I'm not attacking you. Not attacking. Well, you can still like change for the better. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let her, late. let her respond. Let her respond. I can tell I struck a nerve. Just because that's what the heart wants doesn't mean that is possible in this world. Maybe God. And I am being realistic by my choices right now. Y'all may maybe not like it, but I am being realistic. And a lot of this podcast has been, especially you, Brian, oh, what? once you're 30s, oh, what? you should be put out to pasture. What? I didn't say that. I, <laughs> That's I, not true. I object. Not true. I object. Go after I did not him, say Daddy. that. I did not say, I did not say that. Uh, disavow. Put, put, no pastures. Put out to pasture, no Brian. No pasture. Brian. I did not. When did you say that? Come I did on, not man. say this. I did not say this. Just about. Maybe once show. you get in your 40s, we can have another conversation about it. <laughs> but definitely in your 30s, no pastures. No pastures, no meadows, no tundras, nothing. That's All right, candy. Wait, can I say something really quickly? Really quickly. <laughs> My mom is like 61. She yeah. was born in 62, so yeah. however old that makes her. Yeah. She's married to a 28 year old, 29 year old. So maybe she does have a lot of time. What? Wait, <laughs> this is new. Your, your mom, who's 60 what? She was Bruh. born in 62, so however old That's that makes older. her. 61. 61? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and she's dating a 20... Married. They're is married. Your mom How, when, married. Did, wait, when did they get married? Like two, three years ago. So he was like 25? He, yeah, so I have an older brother, and he was younger than my older brother. Bro, it's this is friends? This is insane. Wait, no, friends? No, no, they're not friends. They're not friends. <laughs> so the, the age is he's younger than <laughs> some male. His hair youngest son. So don't How did they count meet? her out. How did they meet? Solid. Did they, did none they, of your business. Wait, wait, wait. Does, your your business. Mom, does your mom have a lot of money? Is she um, like a sugar mama? I'm, I'm, no, she's not a sugar mama, but I'm not going to put her business out there, but she's good looking. Who's the Kardashian mom? Is she's that, pretty. Is that your mom? Who's the, <laughs> no, my mom is blonde. What's her she's name? five Chris, feet tall. Chris Jenner? Is, it, is your mom Chris Jenner? No. And she did $99. Candy. This is a very Ignore religious your podcast. feelings. <laughs> put your faith in Christ. He will show you the world you want. You will have to sacrifice. It's hard. I can't do it. You can. That's nice. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Avery. I agree. Thank you. This this ties in this ties in directly to what I wanted to say to you, Candy. You say that you're being realistic about the fact that it's just not going to happen. What you call realism, and this is, look, I understand this is probably hard to hear after your walk with God, but what you call realism, I see as a lack of faith. I know that God put those desires in your heart that he put there. And I know that he put them there for a reason. And I believe 100% he wants to fulfill them for you. I also believe God rewards us for our obedience in this life. You know, and look, you said you spent 10 years trying to be, you were celibate for 10 years trying to do the best job that you possibly could. I obviously can't judge, you know, your obedience to God during that time frame. And I know what it feels like to be obedient to God and to not feel rewarded for it. It sucks. You know, it like really crushes your faith. 
but I know, like, I see the longing in your heart, Candy. I know you want that companionship. Like, don't give up on yeah, it. Yeah, that just makes it harder. What does? The longing. But it's there for a reason. You know, he implanted that in all of us. Absolutely. L life's not supposed to be easy, but mm. that's, that's the whole thing. I don't think it's supposed to be this hard, though, either. The longing? Says, says who? Yeah. Says, I've, I've, had, a, I've had a horrible well, life. I've had so many terrible, terrible I things that have happened to me. I think that's our modern world. Yes, it is, but that's... Our that, ancestors went through that doesn't, as well. Yeah, Candy, just, just because life is hard doesn't mean it wasn't supposed to be this hard or that like you can't still have love, you know? Yeah, don't give up. Or that you can't stop pursuing the, the positive things in life. Don't give up, Candy. Yeah. Don't give up, Candy. Don't give up. And also to what you're saying, up. like about when you brought up your mom, none of us were saying that it's it's too late for her. If anything, we're advocating for that it's, yeah. it's not yeah. nearly too late for her. Also, everyone's on their own journey. Like as much as we Completely. want her to be happy and like be more, like have a better outlook on life, like she's only gonna realize mm -hmm. when she realizes. Yeah, um, and I if just, you never do, you just never do. Whatever. I have something to say about that. She took Cougar to a whole other level. Side note. Tincture tried to get the Donald Trump down. Oh, uh, I was just in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does it look like that? Does it really I was look just like in that? Mexico. Uh, I was in Mexico. For a month. What did you say a second ago? Roasting. Before that came in? I'm Mexican. Like, she's on her own journey. She is. We can wish she the is. best yeah. for her. She's going to want to, you know, have, like, a better outlook on life when she decides to. She's on her own path. So. But. Yeah. Yeah, I, think I, just I, I hear see. what you're saying, but I also know that it's easy to slip into permanent pessimism mm -hmm. until somebody comes along and is like, hey, no, there's a better way. Like, you can do it. You know, and that's... That's when you punch them. Come and hit me in the face, Candy. <laughs> come and hit me in the face, because I'll say oh. it to you all day. You can do it. <laughs> she might take you I, up on I, that I have, chance. <laughs> Candy, I, I have faith that God Absolutely. placed that longing in your heart for a reason, and I would encourage you to keep honoring it. You know, think about you're probably familiar with the Bible if you spent 10 years in church. Think about okay. Abraham and Sarah. They were childless and barren. They were childless and barren until they were like 100 years old and God promised Sarah a child and she was like, she laughed at it. She was like, that's ridiculous. But he still came through. They had to wait 100 years and he still came through and gave it to them. You know, Jesus died on the cross. All hope was lost. The Messiah was dead impossible happened rose from the grave like we have a god who does impossible things what feels impossible to you is easy to god but god often asks patience from that us that was literally like a promise from god though what is that yeah. designer uh. that didn't become famous until she was like 51 or like versace or oh. something not the same thing but almost <laughs> so you got it it took her a while you know she was not big and famous in the designer world and now she is is don't tell her. I'll be, yeah. I'll be famous. <laughs> good one, Maddie. Sure. <laughs> don't, don't, just don't, <laughs> don't give up. The kind of man, yeah. the kind of oh. man that you want, like, be like she said, you attract what you are. Be the kind mm -hmm. of woman that he would want. That's what I think you should do. Yeah. In, in the we meantime, the sex addiction, the sex addiction, everything like that. Find other ways to yeah. fill that longing within yeah. you. I try actually uh, with exercise. I'll come back to Wait, it. That's my anxiety relief and exercise. I, you said you tried. No, I do. I you punish do. the heck out of myself. Yeah. Based that I do the same thing. Why? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Um, we have Grid One Motorsports. It didn't trigger fears. The spare change that will keep you broke. Ginger, if you want a relationship, you will find one. If you choose, and it is a choice to be single. Acting like a drunken slut, you will find that which you seek. Make better choices. Be a better human. He's right. It is a choice. It is a choice. a choice. Everything's a choice. Yeah. I chose you, you're resigned. You feel doomed. Do. You feel doomed. And I'm telling you, that you're, you're, not. you're not. Well, like I said, things have happened in my life that, um, like what ended my celibacy, you know, I got some news about something, something that runs in my family that I did not think would touch me, and yet it did. And it, now it makes me feel trapped. <clears throat> an inviolable candidate. So Is oh. it? Is it? Are, are you barren? Yeah, I can't have kids now. Oh. Okay. That's literally the first thing a guy wants. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to break that narrative right now. Uh, you, ha you have a narrative in your mind that because you can't have kids, no guy will ever want you. And I want to break that narrative right now by telling that's you. That's all I ever wanted. I hear you. That's, that's all I've ever wanted too. And I waited for the right guy. And I believed. And this is where I am now. So if it's a punishment to God, what I do with my body, then so be it. If he wants to cry every single day that life that I have chosen to live, 
So Wait, is this yeah. like revenge on God? God for my mom can't have kids, and she still got a man, so he don't care. I think Boom. this is the outlook that you're putting on your mom. Yeah, 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 candy, candy, think about it. And this. he's young. Think about how serendipitous this is. You're <laughs> sitting here on the panel saying, no guy will ever want me. I've, I've only got so much time left to keep getting piped for my sex addiction. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm I'm totally screwed. Meanwhile, her mom is sitting here. She has a 28-year-old guy. She, she can't, but, but. Here's the, here's Girl. this You're is no the, different. ladies ladies this is the narrative that I want to break right now who's to say that there's not a guy out there that would love to be with you Absolutely. and would love to adopt and raise kids with exactly. you yeah, who's to say I that have, there's not okay, a guy like that I out there I need to share. please so, hold you're on. adopted relax. Relax. It, it's really candy with her. candy can you, what do you think about that I've already made that decision. But don't you think it's possible it's that there's terminal. a guy out there? There's a guy out there who would My love you, <laughs> even despite the fact that you can't have kids. Who would who would want to be with you and to raise kids with you? Don't you think that's possible? Uh, if God My wants that to, to happen, that. then it will happen. That's not an answer. No. Do you or that's do you not answer. think it's possible? Are you saying I it's not possible? No. I think that in all things with God, it's possible. But that's yeah. on Him, not me. No, <laughs> no, that's not absolutely how that works. not. That is ridiculous. No, I spent all that's of the ridiculous. Time that I did looking and waiting and being what I thought I was. Your last word. I'm done with that now. Sure. Um, do you have one final yes, response? Candy, but then we're going to move on. What you just told me is that's on God. There's nothing I can do about it, so I might as well just keep getting piped by all these random guys and hope that the perfect guy comes along and just wants to accept all of that. That's what you're telling me. No. That's that's not a proper strategy for no. locking down that guy. Mm -mm. There's absolutely stuff you can do right now in order to do to, to lock down that kind of guy. I've already told you I don't know how many times I've stopped looking for that guy. Well, okay, then, the, right. the, then, then being, being alone is your choice, Candy. That's yeah. your choice. Temporarily. <laughs> 